and welcome to NetApp KV TV. This video demonstrates how to configure hardware assist feature in cluster data on tap. This video is based on KV ID 1010145. Hardware assisted takeover speeds up the takeover process by using the nodes remote management device such as the SP or RLM to detect failures and quickly initiate the takeover rather than waiting for data on tap to recognize that the partner's heartbeat has stopped. Without hardware assisted takeover, if a failure occurs, the partner waits until it notices that the node is no longer giving a heartbeat, confirms the loss of heartbeat and then initiates the takeover. The hardware assisted takeover feature takes the advantage of the remote management device and avoids this wait. It's a remote management device that monitors the local system for certain types of failures. If a failure is detected, the remote management device immediately sends an alert to the partner's node. Upon receiving the alert, the partner initiates the takeover. Hardware assisted takeover is enabled by default. In case if it is not enabled, following are the steps to enable the hardware assisted takeover. If the controller is in a cluster state, Go to one of the controller and you can issue the command to check the status of the hardware assist. The command is storage failover hardware assist show. You can see that hardware assist enable is set to false on all the nodes. You can also go to one particular node and check the status. To do so, you can go to system node run hyphen node the name of the node and you can issue the command cf hardware underscore assist status you can see that the status is set to inactive and it says not monitoring alerts from partner and it gives you the partner node name to configure hardware assist you will need to determine which interface you will use for the configuration Interface E0M is preferred when setting up hardware assist to separate traffic but E0A is set to default if E0M is not configured and if it's not online. If you will be using E0A you need to make sure that the name resolution is working. No additional configuration is required for E0M. Now let's enable hardware assist and to do so run the following command storage failover modify hardware assist true hyphen node and you can specify the node name or you can also use the wildcards does take a few seconds it says operation successful you can now set up the partners IP address for which this node is going to monitor to set the partner's address for hardware assist, run the following command storage failover modify dash hardware assist dash partner IP and the IP address of the partner's management node in my case 10.74. Node and the name of the node. So it says that the operation was successful. You can also set the port number through which the hardware assist is going to monitor. To do so, run the command storage failover modify dash hardware assist dash partner port the default is node and the name of the node it has executed the command you can check the status of the hardware assist by running the command storage failover hardware assist show you can see that hardware assist is enabled the IP address through which the hardware assist is monitoring the status of monitoring is been displayed here you can test the failover by running the following command which is storage failover 
hardware assist test and the node on which you want to test it will do a failover test and it will tell you if in case it was successful or not we hope you find this video helpful please subscribe to netapkv tv for more knowledge based videos thank you for watching